on this video i'm gonna show you exactly how you can live stream a pre-recorded video on facebook so if you stick around by the end of this video you'll know exactly how to do that and that's that's exactly what i'm going to show you okay so real quickly before we get started if it's your first time on one of my videos or on my channel well welcome my name is billy Anellis. And I'm a full-time online entrepreneur, and my channel is all about affiliate marketing, making money online, working from home, and the marketing tools that you can use to effectively market online. So if you want some more details about that, well, I invite you to subscribe on my channel right now by clicking the big red button right underneath this video right now and hit the bell icon so that you can get instant notifications for when I upload new videos on the platform. I'm going to do so on a weekly and oftenly on a daily basis, and I don't want you to miss out on that. And if it's not your first time on my channel or on one of my videos, well, welcome back. All right. So how do you go about live streaming a pre-recorded video on Facebook from your computer? Well, there's two things that you're going to need in order for it to happen. OK, the very first one is you're going to need a software called OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. OK, it's free. You can go ahead and get it right now. I'm going to leave a link around you this video where you can go and download it. And once you get to that page or, you know, maybe you have a version of it right now, make sure that you have the latest version of it, the most updated version of it. And if you use Mac or PC, you can install it. Just choose your option over here. You install it and it's going to look something like this. OK, uh, yours may look a little bit different. I just went in the settings and I. Uh, I just went in the settings and I changed my theme, but this is how it's going to look for you. All right. Now, the second thing that you're going to need in order for this to work is you're going to need to grab the stream key in order uh, for you to broadcast on Facebook. All right. So you're going to come to this page right here, and I'm also going to leave a link around right this video for you to access that page. And this is what's going to allow you to push the video the pre-recorded video that you'll set up on the obs software and i'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment in order to push you know the video uh as a live stream so you're going to scroll down on that page you're going to click on the big blue button right here and you'll see a little pop-up that's going to prompt you make sure that you're logged in on your facebook right on your on your facebook account and you can live stream for on your timeline share in a group or in the page that you manage but just for this example, we're just going to go with the share on your timeline. We're going to click next and it's going to open up the big window where we'll, we'll, we'll be able to grab our stream key. OK, so as you can see right here, let me put this window a little bit to the right so that you can see the stream key. OK, right here. So you, you'll see over here, this is the window where you'll see the preview and everything. So you're going to grab this stream key right here. You're going to copy it. OK, and then I'm going to bring back the window for OBS. And what you're going to do, you're going to go in the settings. It's going to open this window. You're going to go to the stream section on the left. And right here, you, you, this this software, this free software is pretty powerful because this is a software you can use to even broadcast on YouTube, on Twitch, and other platforms. But for this example, we're going to use a service for Facebook Live. You leave the server on default, and you go right here. You delete everything. You can even click on Show for you to see the key that you're pasting in. And the key that we just copied on that other little window, we're going to paste it here. Okay, so once you paste it, you're just going to click on OK. And then you're going to click on start streaming right here. It's not going to start broadcasting yet. OK, and this is where, you know, it's going to push the preview to that this window right here. As you can see, it's fetching the video stream right here. Right. You can also uh, go ahead and grab your live stream key from, from your desktop. OK, so let me just close this real quickly so that I can show you. OK, so say that you're on your profile right now and you go to write a status then you can select the live video stream option right to go live from your computer and then you're gonna once it, it displays the connect camera option you're gonna click on the connect button right here and you can also grab uh your stream key from that window right there so it's stressing in is it should be black right now and here's what you're gonna do in order for you to pull up your pre-recorded video on obs to display so as you can see there's scenes 
and there's sources right here so you can create a new scene that we have that will have a source and this is where you're going to pull up your video um, within the scene so as you can see I have multiple ones that I can alternate between uh, so for for this I'm not gonna create one because I already create one that was pre-recorded so you're gonna create a scene by clicking on the plus button right here you're gonna name it whatever you want and then within the scene you're gonna click on the plus to add one so as you can see there's different sources that you can choose from uh, you can choose from media source, scene, video capture device, which would be your webcam, right? But for this example, you would go with media source because you want to capture uh, the video from a media file, right? And then once you do that, it's going to add it. You can even name it. I named my video. And then what you do is you're going to right click on it to go to the properties. And this is where you would go and choose your video. You can even choose a, a picture if you want. But for this example, we're talking about a pre-recorded video, right? So you would go on here. You you would go and locate the file on your, your computer. You just click on browse. Make sure that the, the video file is a, a MP4 because otherwise it's not going to work, right? So it has to be an MP4 or uh, MOV or, you know, there's different uh, files that you can choose from here, right? Uh, Wave, GIF, uh, MP3. There's a few other ones, but make sure it's the right one. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I already chose my file here and I'm, you're just going to click on OK. And as you can see, there's a little eye here that that is going to display your video. And as soon as I click that eye, look, there will be a little bit of a delay. I think there's a couple of seconds, but you know, it's going to start displaying the video on the preview, right? You see, so I click on the eye and it does that. So before you, you start your live stream, make sure that it's off. Okay. Uh, and just to go back in the properties real quickly, you'll see that there's a couple options. These are the options that I chose. So I choose not to loop the video. Uh, I, I have the restart playback when source becomes active. I have hide source when playback ends as an option that I chose here and I don't close the file when inactive. Okay. So these are the options I chose. Just replicate that and this should work for you in the event that you want the video to loop. Then you just hit on loop. I used to do that. I did that a couple of times where I just let a video play for like four hours live on my Facebook. And that was pretty cool. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it off. Okay. So when you're ready to go live, okay, after you click on, on start streaming, right? So you're going to come on this window right here and you're going to, you know, put in your caption. I'm just going to put test uh, pre-recorded uh pre-recorded uh, video okay and then once you wrote your caption okay you see the little button that says go live right here even if it's it shows up a little bit like if it's not you know completely blue it'll be ready to go and don't worry about it not showing up as soon as you're going to click on it you're going to click on it it's going to go live for you and then automatically right away you click on the little eye so that it can display your video and then your video is going to play li live with sound and everything and it's, it's just going to go live so this is what i wanted to share with you how to live stream a pre-recorded video on facebook you know how to do it now so if you like this video make sure that you hit the thumbs up button right now uh, to show your appreciation and if you have any concerns or feedback or questions that you want to ask about something that may have not been uh, clear make sure that you leave the comment section you leave it in the comment section below so that i can answer them i'm pretty active on here and i'll reply to every single one of my comments and my channel is about affiliate marketing making money online working from home and marketing tools and tips and strategies that you can use to effectively run your business online so if you want some more of that uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by smashing the big red button and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications for when I upload new videos right away. Okay, so with that said, you have all the links and all the stuff that you need to make what I just shared with you to happen. Uh, this was Billy Inelis here. I'm going to sign out now and I'll see you on the next video.